The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. The best way to support The David Pakman Show, get a David Pakman Show membership at our website, davidpakman.com. Pennies a day and goes a long way to support strong independent media. Plus, you'll get the bonus show produced and hosted by producer Lewis Motomedy. Still all positive, uh, positive feedback about you hosting. Of course. You're the one who didn't want to do it. What do you mean, of course? Doesn't mean I didn't think it would be good. I could have sworn no, he said actually, it. Actually, I'm, I'm totally positive yeah. Lewis actually said it's not going to be good. Yeah, no question. Okay, I did. Yeah. A TSA agent spilled a passenger's grandfather's ashes during a confrontation. This almost sounds like it has to be made up and just creating bogus exaggerations of what goes on during TSA screenings, but not the case. A TSA airport, a TSA worker at an airport in Florida violated their own policy, which is that you only x-ray um, uh, cremated remains when she opened a container containing the ashes of a passenger's grandfather and spilled them on the terminal floor, according to WRTV Channel 6 in Indianapolis. John Gross of Indianapolis was visiting rel relatives in Florida when an uncle acting on the wishes of the family gave Gross a portion of his grandfather's ashes. And when he arrived at the TSA checkpoint, he claims that they opened up my bag and I told him, please be careful, these are my grandpa's ashes. She picked up the jar. She opened it up. Not only that, but the agent stirred the contents with her finger, allowing about 25 to 33 percent of the ashes to spill onto the floor. She didn't apologize. She started laughing. I was on my hands and knees picking up bone fragments. A lot was lost. There was a long line behind me. Gross has said he wants an apology, both from the agent and from the TSA. Again, the TSA claims this is just not their policy and are looking into the matter. Lewis, you have no problems with the invasive pat-downs. What about this? If you don't put your finger in the ashes, will people sneak stuff into, into cremated remains? Their policy is that they should only be x-raying these, so that's the policy. So something wrong happened? Of course. Do you think the terrorists have won? I mean, they fly planes into, into a couple of our buildings, and now for 11 years we're dealing with diaper pat-downs, we're dealing with putting fingers in ashes and spilling them all over the airport terminal. I mean, is this essentially uh, this 11-year situation we've been dealing with? Is this a victory for the terrorists? The entire war on terror is a victory for the terrorists. So you don't even think that the security, the airplane security part of it by itself is really the issue? No, but that's also a huge victory for the terrorists, clearly. Clearly, they wanted to disrupt things. They wanted to make life harder for Americans. They've succeeded. In a way that's maybe different from the one that was initially imagined, but, but they've certainly done that. Well, hey, you know what? They, they have invoked fear as well. That, that is there. Send me your thoughts on that. Have the terrorists won? Is this an indicator that the terrorists have won or, or are we way off here?